hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and on today's video i'm going to be showing you how i do my box braids so i do have a video where i did my box braid i think it was about a year ago when my hair was still way too short and a lot of people have been watching that video um which i will link up here if you haven't seen it so today i'm decided to go ahead and show you guys how i do my box braids again so this is how they look i was going for that like clean less braids without having like a hair full of braids and yeah so this is how my braids turned out i love 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 them and they're super lightweight they're not heavy at all so if you want to see how i did my box braids then keep on watching so i started this yesterday and this is how far i've got i'm left with about three pieces here which i'm going to show you guys how i've been braiding my hair so this is how they look I love that they're like not too close to each other which is the look that I was going for and that actually makes them look um, cleaner and neater because the last round that I had it was way too much I think I used about six packs I felt like a bubble head because I also prefer tying my hair up into like a bun especially when I have braids so I was they were like way too heavy for my head so this time I decided to do them lighter and the hair that I'm using is this darling one million hair so I'm on my fourth pack and this is how much is left on the fourth one so I've used um, almost four picks this is like half of this is the last half of the fourth pack so yeah I'm left with three here which I'm going to show you guys how I braid my hair so yeah this is how I've been braiding my hair so I'm left with three so what I do is I push my little edges to the front because I don't want those to break because with braids we tend to lose like our edges especially like someone like me who like to tie their braids up they I tend to lose a lot of edges so I don't grab the little hair I'm not leaving like a lot of hair it's just the little edges here as you can see like here I left some and also like here and this is what I've been using this is the gel works by perfect touch you can use an edge control if you have an edge control what I don't like to use is a gel some people do like to use gel but I don't like to use gel I find it like it's way too uh, liquidy so it's it's like slippery when I'm braiding with gel but this is like the same texture as like the edge control so this works same as like an edge control it's just that this is like cheaper I'm going to take some of it and put it like here on the bottom so this will make my parting cleaner and also like I can grab everything nicely and everything will come will come out like neat and clean and I'm going to comb it in I've been loving like this knotless style but my hair is way too short to do knotless so I'm trying not to knot it too much but I'm still knotting it so I'm taking the my hair here my natural hair in the middle and then wrap the braiding hair just once and then start braiding like so they still have a knot but it's not like a big knot and then I just continue braiding until I am done with um, the whole braid So this is how it's looking uh, this is like the ends and I forgot to mention this to you guys but I did feather out the braids right in the bottom so that they can have like this nice little pointy ends and they wouldn't unravel so now moving to the second one I am taking the braiding hair like the same portion I'm gonna go ahead and start braiding so like I said I'm taking my natural hair in the middle of the braid wrap it once 
like so and then once i'm done with that i take my natural hair and start braiding but before i can go anywhere further i separate like 25 percent of the fiber from each part to form the third braid like so and this also helped like conceal the little ends on my natural hair so i just continue braiding And now I am moving to the last one. I'm doing the same, taking the braiding hair. And some of them, they kind of look a little bit thicker compared to the other ones. Like my sectioning, um, when it comes to like braiding hair, sucks. Like some of them are like skinny, some of them are like a little bit thick, but it's fine. So taking the braiding hair again. Um, I'm taking my natural hair in the middle, braid, um, wrap around the fiber and then start braiding. When I get to like the second round, that's when I start sectioning um, portions of the hair of the fiber from the two ends to make the third braid. And I just continue braiding. So this was the last one i am actually done with all my braids and this is how they are looking and they're like super long like they go down to like my butt what i'm going to do now i am going to boil some water dip them into water so that the ends can like get like silky and smooth and i'll also take like a hot wet towel and um just pet the braids all over my hair so that they can also like lie flat sort of like steaming them so i am back now my hair is boiled dipped in water uh, so i just i just came back now from dipping my hair in hot water and this is how it's looking so it's lighter but it's still a little bit heavy because it's still wet especially down here still like dripping water but this is how they look I love 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 them so I'm hoping that I can keep this on for maybe like about a month so this is how they look so now I'm taking some um, got to be glued this is like the yellow one looks like this and my little edge brush and putting it on the brush not a lot just a little bit and I'm going to start laying down my edges. So this is how they look this is the final look so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on the next one bye